Welcome to Jaime 208's uh, first uh, box opening uh, project. Uh, I've never done one of these before, so I apologize. I'm sure it's uh, going to be a little awkward, but that's okay. So, as advertised, I'm going to be opening up the Dendrobium Mobile Suit in Action MSIA set, which was one of, uh, I believe it was the largest MSIA mobile suit in action Gundam set ever released but I wanted to give you uh, kind of a size comparison so this is the Gibaldi beta the little B symbol stands for beta uh, and this guy came out in 2005 uh, I just recently picked him up and this is your typical this is if you haven't seen one this is what a MSIA a typically looks like very uh, got some information on the back and uh, got your character on the front and the name and all that good stuff and the box is clearly just you know nothing too big now uh, if you haven't seen uh, Stardust Memory I highly recommend it it was a great uh, small series uh, mobile suit Gundam series and uh and yeah it just uh the dendrobium was of course featured only in that uh show so uh here's a size comparison including my cat you can see the box is uh much much bigger than the box of uh compared to the Gibaldi uh, beta unit. So, again, much smaller. We're gonna move my kitty. Come on, Waffle. Move, Waffle. And we can kind of see the front box here. And you've got, uh, you've got, uh, this, uh, right here is called the stamen. And then this is the orchid. Uh, dendrobium is actually a orchid uh or part of the family of the orchid uh trees slash uh can uh flowers so uh really kind of a cool idea actually to uh name it after a after a flower an orchid so the other thing that was really cool with this is it comes with this guy. This is the actual GP03 uh, Gundam figure that drives, and you can see him hiding right here. He drives the unit and uh, is really well detailed. Uh, the only one that I know of that they made in this time period was the Gundam Fix series which also came out and they were like highly highly detailed uh figures very expensive uh i actually have that guy in uh in the gundam fix series and i actually had this set so i do have a little bit of knowledge of this set uh i had purchased it this this actually came out in 2001 so this is 21 years old as of uh, as of me purchasing it, but uh, I had this unit, absolutely loved it, and in a move it got horribly damaged, and I could not put it on display, uh, and so I had to get rid of it. Uh, it was heartbreaking, honestly, uh, but I was able to keep the figure, uh, so I do have the original figure, and I do have the Gundam Fix version as well, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see. So here's the outside box. It's got some cool pictures showing you some of the stuff on it, uh, especially that figure. There's a good view of the unit when it's put together. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a big little guy. Uh, let's see if I can get around Waffle here. Hi, Waffle. And you can see another view. And... Uh, there's a back view. I think it's back view, excuse me. Front view of the uh, dendrobium with the 
weapons ports on the top open up. And uh, so one thing I'll talk about is the scale of this unit. It's huge. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's massive. Um, but I would say that it's not to scale. Uh, the These guys, for example, uh, would be about twice the size that they are in the anime. Uh, and again, uh, Stardust Memory, uh, year universal year 83 and uh yeah these would probably be about twice as big and these pieces of course would probably be a, just as big as well that being said i really like this scaled down one i feel like it fits with the figure and uh just the design of the set i think is really great so uh i'll get ready here to unbox it and uh, one last scan out so you can see the whole box uh, it's got a uh, handle on the top and again some more pictures and the good old mobile suit and action symbol uh, and then on the back is just uh, it's just a uh, white uh, white uh, cardboard so Let's take off the top. Uh, actually, before I do that, I kind of want to explain how I got this. So, again, this being 2001, not an easy to obtain, especially this rare, wonderful beast is, uh, yeah, difficult to get. Uh, I was lucky to find someone who had it in England who had, according to him, uh, checked over the pieces, made sure they were all there, but decided not to build it and just put it up in his closet or up in his attic and uh, brought it down and decided to sell it. So I made him an offer and uh, hopefully he was honest and we'll take a look now and find out and see what I've got in the box. So far, so good. This is what I remember when I purchased it the first time. And it looks like... Uh, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, for example, here's one of the engine pieces. There's no sunware on it, which these can be... Uh, they can definitely have sunware on them. Uh, no dust on them. So... Yeah, these look really good. They look like they're in good shape. Got the separator still. Looks like he put some of the loose pieces and protection in some bags, which I actually appreciate. Uh, again, you know, if he, he may have put this on display, uh, but if he did, he certainly returned it to all the bags and where they need to go. Uh, which is great. So, uh, so far so good. You know, I need to put it together and make sure all the pieces are there. And, uh, oh, I'll show you this. So under here is, or should be, uh, the actual figure. I'll pull them out. And there we go. So there's our uh, GPO3 figure. And again, he looks like he's in good shape. Uh, I doubt he's even been removed from from this case. Or if he has, uh, again, for display purposes. But otherwise, he looks pretty good. So, you know, no, again, no sun damage on him that I can tell. Uh, I'm not getting any smoke smell uh, from, from the from having a having it being stored in a smoke apartment or building so again here's what it looks like uh, I've got the instruction booklet and it is in Japanese but it's got a lot of you know push this here collect the connect this here and it really isn't too difficult this is definitely not a model it's just connecting some of the pieces so that they're all together and they seal together kind of with these rubber seals so hopefully the rubber is still good uh, and what I'll do is I'll either do uh, a separate video 
showing off the dendrobium or I'll tap, you know, in one way or another, I'll either attach it to the end of this video or I will uh, add a second video with a link to it so that you guys can see it. Uh, again, please uh, like and sub subscribe. I'm going to try to do more toy boxing, unboxing. Um, I'm a big, big uh, nerd and uh, just love to uh, get some of these old, old sets and put them together. So both Legos and and mecha of all sorts of anime Japan, but especially Gundam series. So please like and subscribe, and uh, uh, hopefully you'll get to see some more uh, exciting unboxings. And if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.